Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, let us give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Mokrakadash. Double honest to my apostles and elders, great Muslim who will tell me it's true. And Shalom to all the brothers out there to the four points that are pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazapa from James Rosnick, Carolina, but right now we're residing with the President of DC. Um, come back with another quick lesson through the Spirit Power, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And um, <clears throat> the head of uh, Camp of DC, the, um, the, el the elder out here, uh, actually gave out an order for these younger brothers here to, um, you know, read the uh, book of the book of Psalms, read the book every day, you know, and um, you know, going by reading it again, going into it, there's a uh, you know a couple uh, scriptures that I want to get that you know stand out to me, you know, but also uh, through the Spirit, um, you know, our basic milk scriptures, you know, for the elected nation of Israel, so. With that, I'm going to quickly get these. This is the, um, let's see. Uh, yep, let's start right here. This is a book of Proverbs, chapter 3. And I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, My son, forget not my law, and let thy heart keep my commandments. Kind, okay. All right, and the Proverbs, you know, um, is written by uh, King Solomon, which you know in the spirit, that's what our Lord, Yahweh Shai, put, put the word in called Jesus Christ. Okay, he said, my son is talking to the men, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because it starts with you. Okay, you know, all right, it starts with you, man, and then, and, you know, the women and children will follow in suit. Okay, but it starts with us men. Okay, so it says, my son, forget not my law. All right, the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. Okay, all right, it says, but let thy heart, which the Hebrew word for heart is love, which means your mind. Okay, so you know, let your mind. Okay, it says, but let thy heart keep my commandments. All right, let your mind, because everything starts up here. Okay, all right, if you're meditating and thinking on the commandments, you're gonna that's soon gonna uh, be performed in your actions. Okay, because everything starts up here as a thought first. All right, so meditate upon the scriptures that you may perform them. Okay, all right, it says, For length of days and long life and peace shall they add unto add to thee in kind, you know. And, you know, brothers are experiencing that on a low level now, man. Okay, you know, with these words and us following the lost that commandments is uh, giving us longer lives. All right, because if we would indulge back what we used to do in the world, it could have potentially killed us at a very early age, just like we see the two thirds of the nation of Israel out here, man. You know, a lot of uh, uh, Israelite men don't make it past 21, man. Okay, you know, and if they do, you know, um, make it past 21 again, the 30s and 40s, they end up dying from um, some type of disease, man. Okay, you know, because they're not hearkening to the law, such commandments of the Bible, man. Okay, you know, so we're seeing this on uh, on on a, on a low level, you know that. Adding the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, and keeping the laws to the best of our ability is adding, you know, longer days unto us, okay? Having us have a longer life. Peace, you know, a peace of mind first, you know, you know, you know, peace in your spirit that you're doing the uh, the will of the Heavenly Father, okay? And ultimately, he's going to give us peace when we get into the kingdom of heaven, long life, all right, with that eternal life, man, okay? The Lord's will be a part of the elect, the elected nation of Israel. We're going to follow these scriptures, man, okay? It says, um, it says, verse 3, it says, let not mercy and truth forsake thee, okay, all right, and that's what we want ultimately, man, we want to have the truth to reside with us, all right, you know, which is ultimately what, Yahweh Shai, he said he's the truth, the, the light, okay, we want Yahweh Shai to dwell with us, man, all right, through the Holy Spirit, all right, you know, all right, so we want Yahweh Bashim Shai to dwell within us with the Holy Spirit, man, okay, you know, and if you don't have the Holy Spirit with you, Yahweh Shai is not dwelling with you, man. Okay? All right, and we pray that Yahweh Shai, that we keep, that He keeps His Holy Spirit upon us through a carpet dash. Okay? All right, that's what brothers say, you know, Yahweh Baha Shim Yahweh Shai, Baha Shim or carpet dash. We're saying the Heavenly Father, there's only begotten Son, Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know, in, in the, uh, uh, carpet dash, in the Holy Spirit, man. Okay? You know? All right, because the Holy Spirit gives you understanding, man. Okay? You know? helps you, uh, you uh, understand the scriptures, okay? All right, it says, um, 
It says, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. All right, because this is mercy that the Lord has shown us by giving us understanding of the scriptures that we may what conduct ourselves properly to be saved. Okay, it says, it says, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thy heart, of your mind. You know, to make sure it's up here at all times, man. Okay, all right, you know, and uh, uh, in, in these days that's to come, you know, the, the tribulation, the, uh, the anguish, the distress of the times that's about to come, all right, we need to have these laws, all right, and the ultimate law of law of faith up here in the mind, man, believing and trusting on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? It says, um, verse uh, uh, verse 4, it says, so, so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of men, it's like in the sight of the Most High and in the sight of men. Um, I'm going to read that again, verse 4, it says, so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in, in the sight of the Most High and man, okay? All right? You know, and that's what the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures will do. You'll be what? Uh, pleased. Uh, and, well, you'll be pleased. It's like you. The Heavenly Father will be pleased in, um, in you, okay? When he looks at you, man, okay? You know, matter of fact, the scriptures talk about what? Doing what the Lord delights in. Let's get that real fast. Um, this is Psalms 37 and... Verse 3, it says, trust in your howl and do good. Okay, so you got to trust in the Lord and do good, which trust goes back to faith. Okay, all right, saying so do good, what is that? The, the will of the Heavenly Father was written in the scriptures for the Israelite man to do, which ultimately what? To fear your howl by Shinao Shai and keep his commandments, for that is the whole duty of man. All right, you can find that in Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 13. Okay, all right, it says, so shalt thou dwell in the land and and verily thou shalt be fed, meaning what the Lord is going to take care of you if you trust in him and do good, what is pleasing unto him, okay? It says what? It says, verse 4, it says, delight thyself also in the Lord, all right, so delight yourself in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and being happy that you're doing the will of the Heavenly Father, man, okay? It says, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart, commit thy way, all right, which way means what, Okay? Way means your conduct, the way you conduct yourself, your actions. Okay, all right. It says, commit thy way. All right, so it means commit yourself, hold yourself to the way of the Lord. Okay, all right. It says, unto Yahweh, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. And really, the desire of the elect of the nation of Israel right now, all right, is what to be what the desire is the, the kingdom of heaven. All right, what they truly, uh, earnestly uh, want, what they lust about. All right, because um, <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with lusting stuff. It's what you're lusting after, okay? And the, the elect of the nation Israel, they lust after the kingdom of heaven, all right? To be righteous, man, to please the heavenly father, okay? All right? So with that, let me go back to the scripture. It says, um, this is uh, Proverbs 3 and 4. It says, so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of the most high men, God, you know? All right, because you're delighting in the, what the Lord does, and ultimately he's going to give you good favor in the side of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? And in men, men are going to see that something is different about you, all right? You know, like I said, <laughs> you know, they're, they're going to look at you as a, a some something different, and they're going to know that you're different. They're not going to look at you as a nigger, okay? Or a nigger, man, okay? All right? Or, or a spick or wetback, you know, a degenerate. They're not going to look at you as that. They're going to look at you as something different, you know? A man of a new fashion, man, okay? You know, a new creature <laughs> in Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? Right, it says, um, verse 5, and this is the point I wanted to get, is, uh, it says, trust in Yahweh with all thy heart, okay? So trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with all thy heart, all thy mind, okay? With all your ability, man, trust in the Lord, believe in Him, okay? He's capable of doing anything and everything. The scripture says that He's omnipotent, which means all-powerful, okay? You know, he can do anything and everything and get you out the stickiest situations that look impossible to get out of. Okay. This is the power that we serve the creator of the universe. Okay. All right. Through his only begotten son. Can't forget that, man. Our Lord Yahweh Shai. I heard the word in you called Jesus Christ. Okay. It says, um, it says, and lean not unto thy own understanding. 
All right, it says what? Lean not unto that own understanding, because leaning unto what we thought was the right way. Okay, our own understanding. This is why we're in this captivity now, America, man. Okay, where our people got put on cargo slave ships, you know, into slavery, you know, uh, you know, the lynchings, all these horrible um, acts that happened to us as you know a people. All right, it happened to us why? Because we leaned unto what we thought was right. Okay, we leaned unto our own understanding instead of leaning unto the God of the Bible. Okay, His ways, you know, conducting in uh, His judgments, His statutes and commandments, as the scriptures say, man. Okay. Fearing him, okay. You know, we didn't do these things, so this is why we got in this predicament. So if you trust in in lean on the Lord, okay, only good things can come to you, man. Okay. All right. When we just said in ver uh, verse one, uh, or verse two, it says, "For what is the length of days and and long life and peace shall it add unto thee?" All right. <laughs> All right. That's if we lean into the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Okay. All right, that those things will happen, man. Okay. All right, it says verse six. It says, "In all thy ways, where were ways, the, your conduct." Remember, it says, "Acknowledge him," meaning everything that you do, all right, in in this world should be a reflection of the scriptures. That's how you acknowledge the Lord. Okay, you know. It says, "And he shall direct thy paths," and the Lord is what to direct you down the path of life. You know, and ultimately what the Half of salvation being saved about it here in America. Those will be a part of the elect, the 144,000 men, prophets, and the one third men, women, and children who believe. Okay? Alright? The believers on Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Alright? It says, verse 7, in this last part, it says, Be not wise in thy own eyes. Alright? Which was our downfall. Okay? It says, it says, Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. So not only trusting in the Lord, but fearing your help by Shema Shai. Okay? All right? For this is the whole duty of man. Okay? You know? And that will encompass everything else. Everything else will come. Because scripture say what? The, the, uh, the matter of fact, let's get it. I don't want to uh, mess it up. It's Proverbs 1. And uh, uh, 1 and 7. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. All right. So the beginning of, of wisdom and knowledge is what? The fear of the Lord, man. Okay? Showing you that we need to fear you. How about you now shot more and more as we get closer to the day of, of judgment, man? All right? You know, but I don't want to keep this too long. Hope this is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders and great millstone who move well and tell me this truth. And shallow on to all the brothers out there to the full point of their pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, to the shallow one.